Hey, so you've heard about this crystal nucleus thing and you're wondering what it is. Don't worry, I got you covered. The crystal nucleus lies in the very center of the crystal hollows. It'll always be within the coordinates on screen now. Once you complete the nucleus challenge, it will reward you with loot. To do so, you must place down all five different crystals. Each is obtained from its own area. I'll first explain how to obtain them and then go more in depth about the strategies for doing so. Let's start with the amethyst crystal. It's obtained from the jungle, more specifically from the jungle temple structure. You must unlock it with a jungle key and complete the parkour course inside. The parkour isn't very challenging, but if you fall into the lava you will fail and have to buy another key to re-enter, so it's not risk-free. At the end of it lies the amethyst crystal. The amber crystal is found in the goblin holdout. First you must locate the goblin king and bring him free goblin eggs. He'll then give you a special potion effect which lets you bypass the goblin queen's guards and steal the amber crystal. Also, this potion effect wears off after a while, but it gives you more than enough time and even if you fail, you can just go back and give him free goblin eggs again. It's important to know that you need to locate both the Goblin King and the Goblin Queen's Den for this crystal. The next crystal is definitely the easiest to obtain. It's called the Subscribe Button Crystal and it's found just a bit below this video. You will automatically collect it upon clicking Subscribe. Don't, don't ask me why the, the ones around it are yellow, that's um, that's, it's a bug, yeah, bug. Oh, also, I have a Discord now. The join link will be in the description and the pinned comment. Please join. Also, big shout out to this man for setting basically everything up. Anyways, to obtain the Jade Crystal, you have to venture into the mines of Divan. Once you're there, talk to any of the NPCs and you will receive a metal detector. When you hold it in your hand and walk on the gold floor below, you will hear a dinging sound. If you don't hear it, just walk around till you do. This sound will speed up once you get close to the treasure. Then, when you're close enough, a chest will pop up from the ground. These chests can drop a few different things, but what you're mainly looking for are the special items. Once you have all four, give them to the four NPCs around the pedestal. Then you'll be presented with the Jade Crystal. The Sapphire Crystal is obtained from the Lost Precursor City. In it spawn automatons, which have a rare chance to drop one of the six items needed to repair Automaton Prime. Once you gather all six, bring them to this guy called Professor Robot and the door in the Automaton Prime will open. Go through it and you'll be rewarded with the Sapphire Crystal. Finally, the Topaz Crystal is obtained by killing the Magma Cube boss, Baal. Once you do so, the boss will go to the center of the arena and begin shrinking, and the crystal will spawn on the ground next to him. Once you have all of these, head to the crystal nucleus, place them down by right-clicking on the statues, and boom, the loot will appear next to the portal. In addition to the many gems, you'll also get stuff like the Piconimbus, Divan Fragments, the Prehistoric Egg, the Helix, Bombs, and probably more stuff I haven't heard of. Whether it's worth the grind you go through is debatable though. The tough part about this is locating the structures. If you don't know where one is, ask and chat and chances are someone will know the coordinates and share them with you. But even after knowing the chords, it can be very annoying trying to break in because of this stupid magical force thing. Why, why does this exist? It's not even around all of the structures either. The Goblin Queen's Den and Mines of Divan don't have it. Something else to note is that the areas are always in the same place. I won't talk anymore about this because my subs are probably sick of hearing it by now, so on screen are the coordinates for each area. Anyways, my tips for the jungle temple would be to just buy the jungle key off the auction house. Alternatively, you can look for a key guardian or trade in 100 sludge juice at the jungle shop. But those are both pretty time consuming. For the goblin king and queen, I don't have any tips really, it's pretty straightforward. For the mines of Divan, I recommend asking in chat if anyone wants to trade. Chances are you have a lot of one item and someone else has the last item you so desperately need. You can't literally trade these by the way, so just drop them on the ground to trade instead. Also, the treasure chests always spawn on the ground. Don't go looking on top of the piles for them. Similar to how I recommended you buy the jungle key, I also recommend buying all 6 automaton parts of the auction house. They aren't that cheap though. As for Ball, his HP is much like the spooky mobs, meaning that he requires a certain amount of hits to die. I recommend spamming the hurricane bow here. Oh, and you can drink water bottles to reduce your heat, which is pretty funny. Pro gamer tip for watching till the end. When you're mining gems, be sure to prioritize the glass blocks over the glass panes, as the panes drop less gems. That's pretty much all there is to it. If you feel like I forgot anything, feel free to say it in the comments. Bye! 